and oh hello my friends it's Dan for today's video I'm going to be reacting to some of my photos from when I was still a model here in the Philippines so if you're interested just please keep on watching so bago tayo mag react um, a little background lang Model ako dito sa Philippines nung 15 years old ako and I was one for about two years. So sa two years na yan, I was able to work with a lot of different designers, photographers, and other managements. Kaya medyo na build up ko yung portfolio ko. And so today I'm going to be reacting to the photos that I've accumulated sa two years na yun. And also sorry talaga sa mga background noises. Uh, ang raming manok, ang raming aso, ang raming motor na gumagawa ng noise dito. Pero, I'm really trying to speak as loud as I can para hindi ma-overpower yung voice ko. So, please understand. And, you know, thank you very much. Okay, so first and foremost, we're going to be reacting sa mga photos ko from when I was still in training. So, meaning, hindi pa ako official model nung panahon na to. Um, pumupunta lang ako sa mga workshops na in-offer ng mga companies para matrain ako to become a model. So, ito yung mga um, photos na na-accumulate ko during that time. So, this first shot right here, first photo shoot ko siya ever and I want to say is not bad. Kasi for a first time, um, hindi ako mukhang stiff, hindi ako mukhang mema lang. I was using my hands to frame my body and my face and that's a good thing. Pero yung only concern ko lang dito is yung facial expression ko. Kasi if you zoom in a bit sa facial expression ko, makikita mo na parang medyo takot ako. And yun lang, if I just chilled a bit, and didn't mind my environment a bit and didn't get the fear really ano didn't really get the fear to affect me i think na mas maganda yung shot na to pero overall nice first time attempt ito for for me ah. considering na introverted ako and wala pa talaga akong experience sa modeling at this time Okay, so next photo. So, makikita nyo naman sa photo na to is outdoor shoot siya. And what I liked about this photo is that um, I was really aware of my surroundings that time. So, I was picking out locations that could help me enhance my photo. So, makikita nyo naman dito sa shot na to is that I was using the tree root to my advantage. And because I sat on it, I created a lot of beautiful angles with my feet and my hands. And for me lang ah, the more angles that are present in a photo, the more aesthetically pleasing it looks. And that's what happened sa photo na to. I created a lot of triangles, angles dun sa ano, kamay at pa ako. And it put a lot of points of interest sa photo na to. And it just made it more, more pleasing to look at. Um, hindi lang ako fan dito is yung mukha ko kasi yes, I was smiling pero for me, halata na pilit yung smile na yun kasi I was, we were in a public place and a lot of people were looking at us and were wondering why there was a photo shoot and I think that that got into my mind a bit tapos na-affect lang ako kasi natakot ako that time so I think na it affected my expression there and Sayang talaga yung shot na to. If I had just calmed myself a bit and just smiled, maganda na yung shot na to. Pero overall, okay siya and I like what I did with my hands and feet there. So, magandang shot siya. So, sa next shot na to, it was taken from the same set and what I liked about it is that na redeem ko yung sarili ko sa previous shot ko. Kasi I was talking about how I didn't really like my expression sa previous shot. Well, in this shot, nakabawi ako. And you can see clearly na my face looks better in this shot. It looks more natural to look at. It looks more pleasing to look at. Walang halong kaplastikan yung shot na yan. And um, it really portrayed my genuine emotion that time na walang halong takot. Ganun. Kasi really, I was happy Sa, sa day na yan. What I liked about it, maliban sa expression ko, is yung pose ko. Kahit very linear yung pose ko, there, there was still a point of interest sa pose ko. Kasi I was turning sideways, pero I was looking a bit back at my shoulder. And that provided a point of interest. Kahit ano, sobrang, sobrang linear, tignan yung shot na to. And that's what I like about this shot so simple and yun nga natural yung expression ko and 
Actually, I think ito yung pinakamatinong shot ko ever in my whole career as a model. And yun lang talaga. So the next photo, it wasn't actually from a photo shoot. It was from a catwalk that we had and I was paired up with an in-house model. And yung in-house model na to, magaling siya, guys. Uh, he's good at what he does and nakatrabaho ko siya dun sa mga workshop na pinupuntahan ko sa company niya and magaling talaga siya pero I felt bad kasi looking at this photo it looks like I'm dragging him down and that's because pag tingin nyo from head to toe I was stiff as fuck pag titingnan nyo yung mukha ko mukha talaga akong takot kasi First time ko first time ko yan na mag catwalk and it was in a public place it was in our local mall ang raming tumitingin sa akin uh syempre ako natakot ako kaya i think na it affected my expression and it affected my body kasi nag tense up lang talaga ako and i really feel bad sa partner ko dito kasi ang galing niya pero i feel like i drag i dragged him down kasi yun I think na if I just relaxed ulit, nag-chill lang talaga ako, I didn't mind um, the public as much. Maganda na yung shot na to. Ayos na yung shot na to. Pero, overall, I have nothing good to say in this shot about myself. Pero, in this next shot, nakabawi ako kasi you can clearly see na nagbago yung facial expression ko. My facial expression looks more relaxed, looks more determined, looks more confident, and I like that. Kasi, it just, it just, parang, because of that, naging strong. Naging strong yung, yung photo na to. And what I liked about it is that I was posing in a way that, that, it looked, yung post ko dito, it was also strong. It was not lacking in any way. Um, both my facial expression and my pose was strong in this photo. And I think na, because of that, it, it just became a coherent, peace for me ah and yun what i don't really like about it was my jaw kasi uh i was still nervous at that time kahit na second second set ko to dun sa catwalk um i was still nervous at that time kaya i was biting at my tongue a bit and i think na it affected the way that i that I placed my jaw kasi nagtitense talaga siya and I don't know why I was putting it forward like this I was flexing it forward pero I think na pag nirelax ko lang ng konti yung jaw ko it's okay na pero for me overall maganda yung shot na to and super proud ako sa shot na to kasi it showed na kahit beginner ako ganun I still had a lot to offer dun sa mga managements or that we're looking for models at the time. Okay, so we've looked at the photos that I had while I was still in training. Let's get on to the photos that I had while I was an official model. So meaning that I was already assigned model for this agency and I was already working for this agency. So these are the photos that I had while I was assigned model. So this is my first photo ever with that agency and it wasn't really a professional shot. It was a shot for a workshop that we had for aspiring models and I included it because for me, I, I really liked the shot because it was really genuine, it was raw. You can see the emotions of happiness in that shot. And for me, I think that's a really important quality as a model. Um, na despite all of the layers of makeup, hair products, um, clothes that we wear, we still have the we still have a duty to display raw emotions across our audience. And I included this shot because whenever I look at it, parang it's a reminder for me to just stay true and genuine, despite whatever the nature of my work may be. Yun lang kaya in include ko siya. It is a professional shot, but hmm, whenever I look at the shot, I feel happy because that's what I see in the shot, happiness. So I feel happy. Okay. Next photo. This photo was taken from a workshop then that we had for aspiring models. And um, mas professional siya, mas thought out siya. Planado siya actually because um, we had a lot of lights sa set na to. We had 
yung parang palaspas doon na ginagamit nung Palm Sunday para ma-create yung mga silhouettes na yan sa likod na makikita nyo. And what I liked about it is that I had more control over my facial expressions na. Hindi na siya gaanong pilit tignan. Pero makikita nyo pa rin may issue talaga ako sa jacket dito kasi hindi pa rin ako marunong mag-relax, mag-chill out sa <laughs> shot na to. And I think na yun, again, pag nag-relax ako, okay na. Pero the funny thing is, the the thing that really irks me about this shot, yung parang hindi ko talaga feel sa shot na to, it's not with my posing, it's with my makeup. Kasi if you look close enough sa eyebrows ko, you can see that clearly it's not even. And my story ako dyan actually. So, yung workshop na to was actually after a school event of mine. So, I had to go to that school event of mine first. That's after natapos yun, uh, I had to go home, get my makeup, and then call my mom to uh, drive me to the workshop. And then we were rushing. And so, how, on the car ride there, syempre, bako-bako yung daan, tas ginagawa ko yung makeup ko. So, syempre, yung kamay ko parang nanginginig siya habang nag apply ako ng makeup. And I think na it affected, it affected the shoot. Kasi... Clearly, hindi ko nagawa yung makeup ko dito ng maayos. Hindi ko siya nagawa ng hindi ko siya nagawa ng maayos, ng presentable. And yun talaga, ang pangit talaga ng ng kilay ko dito. Kaya advice ko lang talaga before you're taking a photo or any photo photo at all, tignan niyo muna yung makeup niyo kasi ano, whenever I look at the shot right now, parang nadidistract ako kasi ang pangit ng kilay ko. Okay, so next photo right here, we have photos from Denim Nation. So, Denim Nation, as what the name suggests, puro maong, gawa sa maong yung damit namin dito. And um, this shot is actually, this set is actually unique kasi we had to be live mannequins. So, for 30 minutes, nakapost lang kami dun and hindi kami gumagalaw. Nakakangawit siya, shit. Pero, ano, um, we got good shots out of it. So, First shot here that I'm reacting to, makikita nyo naman, like, girl, ang badass namin tignan. Nakamotor pa kami nyan. And, um, ang coherent namin tignan. Kasi lahat kami dyan, all three models in that photo, are fierce looking. And, ang ganda tignan, aesthetically pleasing siya. And, yun. Pero, I remember I had really tensed up during that time, so my issues ako again with um, my jaw and my shoulders. Kasi makikita mo apparent siya na nagtetense siya talaga, and so I couldn't really get a good photo na nakarelax lang yung yung jaw ko and my shoulders. And I think na again pag nagchill out ako, okay na yung shot. Pero hindi ako marunong makinig. And it affected me for the rest of the set kasi as you can see in the next photos um, in here, makikita mo ulit, hindi talaga nagre-relax yung jaw at saka shoulder ko. I was flexing it too hard, like talagang nagiging prominent na yung mga bones ko kasi nagtetense up talaga ako, like really. And it's not a good shot for me kasi if you can see yung mga yung mga kasama ko sa shot na yun, napaka-relax nilang tingnan, parang effortlessly bad as aesthetically pleasing silang tingnan and ako parang trying hard na I was tensing up and it wasn't doing good for me and naalala ko one of the managers kept shouting at me from across the set sinasabi niya Daniel Daniel um relax your jaw ha relax your jaw kasi you're tensing up right now and then um di talaga ako nakikinig sa kanya kasi I was more distracted by the people around me that I didn't really listen to him and I wished I listened to my manager kasi nakikita ko talaga sa shot na to uh, lahat sila relaxed and it <laughs> Ako lang talaga yung mema dito na na hindi relaxed and yon sana pinakinggan ko ang manager ko So next photo or photos um this was from the same set this was actually for a magazine shoot that we had for Oshare and um lahat kami dito 
magka like we're in the same company all the girls here um, we're from the same company and um, yung mga babae na to they were much more experienced than me so ibig sabihin they had more years of modeling than me they had more work as a model than me parang ganun so um syempre na intimidate ako and mas na intimidate pa ako sa fact na we were doing it at a public place in fact we did it sa public market yes guys um, naka heels kami and naka dress kami sa public market and na conscious ako kasi ang raming tumitingin na tao sa amin and syempre I became nervous I was working with these accomplished and beautiful models um, nadagdagan pa yung nervousness ko kasi we were working at a public space where a lot of people were staring so I think na affect na affectohan talaga ako doon kasi Pag nakikita nyo sa shot na to, clearly I'm the weakest one in this shot kasi I look so lost. And hindi ko talaga alam kung anong ginagawa ko sa kamay ko that time kasi hindi ko siya alam. Hindi ko alam kung anong i, i, di ko alam kung anong gagawin ko sa kamay ko. Hindi ko alam kung saan ko ipi-place ganun. And wala lang, walang wala talaga ako sa shot na to. I was really weak in the shot. And I remember my manager um, coming to me after the shot, telling me na I have to do better because apparent talaga sa, sh sa, mga sa mga photos ko na I looked lost and I looked weak compared to the others. And so, after that pep talk, mas naging determined ako and in the following shots, I did better. So in this shot right here, you could clearly see na nagbago yung expression ko. It wasn't as lost as um, it looked like in the previous shot and sa kamay ko naman, it was still a bit lost pero um, I was I was more parang I was more experimental in my poses um, and I was more aware na of what I needed to do para mas maging coherent yung shot namin as a group and that's what I liked about this shot pero I did redeem myself talaga kasi na bother lang talaga ako sa sinabi ng manager uh, ko sa akin kasi it, it was true I was really getting affected by all of those external factors that I started to lose confidence in myself and not do a good job so um, after that parang mas naging determined ako and so because of that I had this beautiful shot I was able to come up with this beautiful shot right here this was my redemption shot for that day and what I liked about it is that wala, I just look confident. I look I look more well put together. I look more parang I look more effortless in this shot. And this shot actually is a group effort. And without all of the photographers, the managers, all of the other models supporting me and telling me what to do with my hands, what to do with my body. Um, I wouldn't have had this beautiful shot right here. And I'm so proud of this shot because um, this was the first shot that I was actually truly listening to the people around me. And it was a lesson for me to take more of their advices and and use it. Because um, before, like what I said, I was really having trouble I was really having trouble listening to their advices because I was more conscious with the people around me. Pero in this shot, I was proud because I was finally listening to them. And this shot was actually good enough to be featured in one whole page of the magazine. So, wala sa akin yung picture yung magazine right now. Pero I'll just put a photo right there sa screen right now. Taka proud lang siya guys, because imagine mo. Uh, I was a new B model and then one whole freaking page of a magazine was used to feature my photo. Nakaka proud guys. Next shot is from Watch and Wear. This is from a catwalk Olet and what I liked about this shot is that uh, simple lang yung sinusuot ko pero uh, my interesting slit detail siya dito sa side and I angled my body towards the side a bit para makita yung detail niya and I liked it kasi kahit very linear ako tignan dito yung nakapost lang ako um, na standing lang and oh what I like about this photo is 
I was parang putting my body sideways para makita yung interesting slit detail sa side niya. And kahit linear yung yung pose ko dito, um, it still looked interesting kasi yun nga, parang may konting peekaboo action happening with the slit detail sa side ko. And that's what I liked about it. Anyways, next photo. This photo was from our 9th anniversary fashion show. And I don't like this photo. Kasi unang-una, again, hindi ako experimental sa posing ko. I did the generic waist on your hips uh, pose and it didn't pay off. Hindi ako talaga creative sa pag-pose. And you can see again, sa face ko, mukha akong takot sa shot na to. And, hmm, hindi talaga ako fan sa shot na to. If I had just had the guts to become more experimental sa, sa posing ko and if I had more confidence sa, sa face ko and how I portray my expression, I think na okay na talaga eh. Pero, yun nga talaga, may ba talaga ako, hindi ko talaga... Pero, there was some growth naman kasi after that, nag-reflect ako, nag-nguni-nguni ako ng konti kasi at that point, medyo nasasabihan na rin ako ng mga managers ko na I should do a better job ng to ganyan. And I felt bad kasi, ano, yun nga, hindi talaga ako nag improve Slow yung progress ko. And so I was more determined to show show what I've got. So, so this next photo right here, proud ako kasi... You can clearly see my improvement, my expression. My God, flawless. Um, I'm not tooting my own horn here, pero um, I'm just judging. And ang ganda tignan. Hindi na mukha ng pilit yung expression ko. And makikita mo mas natural na siyang tignan. And yung body ko, it didn't have the same issues as it did before. Hindi na siya nagtetens up. Hindi na siya nag uh, ano nagiging freaky and all of that and makikita mo how relaxed I was in this catwalk and I liked it and what I liked about it more was that in the next photo uh, I was more experimental sa shot ko I did a pose that I wasn't really able to do before and it paid off kasi it looked so interesting yung shot na to looked so interesting and this is the most confident I've been in in a catwalk. And super proud lang ako sa sarili ko kasi the posing, the confidence, the facial expression, everything was so co coherent and everything was so strong. And because of that, it led to this very, very good shot right here. And So guys, that was the last photo and um, it's been a while since I last looked at this photo and looking at it right now brings a lot of nostalgia because I remember so much, so much things and yun, parang it took me back to that place and yun. But anyways guys, if, if you've enjoyed this video then just please um, give it a thumbs up and if you like me to do more videos about modeling or even other stuff then just please comment down below and i'll see what i can do about it so anyways thank you for watching and i hope you have a nice day so yun lang po okay hindi ako marunong